Hello everyone, I am Roseto Durkista and this is Introduction to Computing. So first in hand, our topic is about number systems. So a digital system can understand positional number system only where there are a few symbols called digits and the symbols um, represent different values depending on the position, the occupy and the number. So a value of each digit and a number can be determined using the digit. The position of the digit and the number and the base of the number system where base is defined as the total number of digits available in the number system. So if we talk about number system, this is not new to us because even during our elementary days, we already had this number system. We count 0 to 9, 0 to 100 or 1 to 100 so that is an example of a number system and we call that decimal number system so that is the most common number system we already had since our elementary days but in introduction to computing we'll be talking about other uh, number system like binaries uh, octal and hexadecimal so these are the three among those uh, number systems that I am talking uh, a while ago so the first one is binary system it's only had two digit use which is the zeros and ones so it is base 2 and in the octal number system uh, it is in base 8 the digit use is 0 up to 7 and then we have the hexadecimal number system base 16 digit use is 0 to 9 and letters use is A to F so instead of having 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, hexadecimal number uses the first six letters from the alphabet, which is the A that represents 10, the B represents 11, C represents uh, uh, 12, D for 13, uh, E for 14, and F for 15. So since it starts with 0, so that is why it is base 16 number system. okay so the first one is the common number system the decimal number system so as I have said earlier we already have this number system since in our elementary maybe even before we talk our elementary grade uh, when we're still uh, at kindergarten or while we're still at home maybe our elder sister or brother or our father or mother anyone in the house has, has already taught us about this uh, number system like we are taught to count from 1 up to 10 1 up to 20 1 up to 100 so those are examples of decimal number system so the system has base 10 so it starts with 0 up to 9 so in decimal number system the successive position to the left of the decimal point represents units tens hundreds thousands and so on so this is really not new tati pa alam na natin to right uh, the only thing that is new to this is the term units because in our elementary days instead of units we call it ones ones tens hundreds thousands and so on but in this, the decimal number system, it uses units instead of ones. So, yun lang ata ang bago. Each position represents a specific power of the base 10. So, for example, the decimal number 1, 2, 3, 4 consists of the digit 4 in the units position. So, nasa ones yung number 4, 3 in the tens position. 2 in the hundreds position and 1 in the thousands position and this value can be written as something like this so, so that is how you write the decimal number system 1 times 1, uh, one times 1000 2 times 100 3 times 10 4 times 1 it is because 4 is in the ones placement the 3 is in the 10th placement 
two is in the one hundred and the one is in a thousand position. Yeah, yung pagkasulat niya one, two, three, four. So from left we have thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So as a computer programmer or an IT professional, you should understand the following number system, which are frequently used in computers. So it is because a computer will not understand, uh, like the word uh, I'm I'm I am talking about, uh, like for example, the word decimal. The word decimal will not be interpreted by the computer as it is uh, the word decimal, but it will be converted into maybe in binary as sets of ones and zeros, or maybe an he a hexadecimal numbers, or an octal this uh, octal number system. So, our computer, our central processing unit, will not accept or understand the actual word, but the composition of that word in a binary context or any number system that is uh, re uh, understandable by the computer that is why we have to study those number systems for us to be able to understand how computer works how the central processing unit works uh, so the entire system of the computer from receiving the input processing and producing an output so, yun po ang purpose natin bakit tayo nag-aaral ng number system. The next one is binary number system. So, as it is already presented before, binary uses two digits, the zeros and ones. So probably you have encountered uh, like watching the matrix, matrix reloaded or finding an image when you type in Google images like the word matrix and then after pressing the enter key you will see some images like uh, in green color with uh, bits of zeros and ones, uh, a lot of zeros and ones. Uh, those are what we call binaries. So, its position in a binary number represents a zero power of the base 2. So, for example, 2 to the power of 0. And the last position in a binary number represents an x power of the base 2. So, example, 2 to the power of x, where x represents the last position, cos 2, negative 1. Okay, so in binary, so let's say for example we have binary number of uh, 10101. So this is base 2, right? Base 2. And then what is the equivalent number of 10101 in decimal number? like in the normal number system the number system that we humans uh, use the number that has zero up to nine digits so the 10 base a base 10 number system so let's say for example this binary 10101 will be converted into decimal <coughs> So, how could we convert a binary number to a decimal number system? So that we will know the exact um, value of that 10101 when it is in a decimal form. So, step 1. We do this. Uh, we have 1 times 2 to the power of... So, we have... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1 times 2 to the power of 4. So, we write this one like this. And then, plus uh, 0, 
times 2 to the power of 3 and then plus uh, we have 1 times 2 to the power of 2 and then plus uh, 0 th uh, times 2 to the power of 1 okay and then we the last one is we have 1 times 2 to the power of 0 so so this is or this will be converted into base 10 base 2 is binary base 10 is decimal so this is the question now so step 2 so we have 1 times 2 to the power of 4 so how can we do how what is the equivalent value of 1 times 2 to the power of 4 so 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 um, times 2 equals 16 so for this we have 16 then plus so to the 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 but 8 times 0 this one 8 times 0 is equal to 0 so this 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16 while 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 but since we need to multiply it to 0 so the answer is 0 and then plus 2 to the power of 2 so we have 2 times 2 equals to 4 and then 4 times 1 is equal to still it is 4 plus 2 to the power of 1 still 2 times 0 so we have 0 plus since the role of the uh, the the last digit of the binary is negative 1 so we will have 1 uh, 2 times 1 so we will not mind this one but 2 times 1 equals 2 but since it is negative 1 so we will have 1 so this is base 10 step 3 In step 3, we will now sum these numbers, the 16, the 0, the 4, the 0, and the 1. So we have 16 plus 0 equals 16, plus 4 equals 20, plus 0 equals 20, plus 1 equals 21. So therefore, the binary 10, 101 is equivalent to 21 in decimal number so that is how we convert numbers from binary to decimal and then the next one is we have the octal number system so the octal number system is uh, also called base 8 number system so since it is base 8 it it has only eight uh, digits starts with 0 so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so its position in an octal number represents a 0 so just like the uh, binary number its position of octal numbers represents a 0 power of the base 8 so for example 8 to the power of 0 and then still uh, the last position in octal number represents an x power of the base so if it is the last position so we have it to the power of x where x represents the last position it is negative 1 so we just do negative 1 or equal to 1 So, for example, we have an octal number of 
12570. So this is octal. And then it will be converted to decimal. Okay. So this is base 8. And this is base 10. So what is uh one two seven uh one two five seven zero in octal to decimal number system so just like the previous con uh previous uh, steps we have to write uh the each number of the octal so step one we have to one times a uh, to the power of so first we have to la label this one so we have 0 1 2 3 4 so to the power of 4 plus 2 times 8 to the power of 3 plus um, 5 5 times 8 to the power of 2 then plus uh, we have 7 7 times 8 to the power of 1 plus 0 times 8 to the power of 0 this is base 10 so in step 2 we will now compute what is the equivalent value of those um, numbers with its power. Let's for example the 8 to the power of 4. So 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 is equivalent to 4096. Uh, this is 4096 because 4096 times 1 is, is still 4096. So plus so since we have 2 times 8 to the power of 3 so we do 8 times 8 times 8 times 2 that is equivalent to 1024 or 1024 and then for the next one we have 8 to the power of 2 times 5 so 8 times 8 equals 16 times 5 it is uh, the value is 320 and then since we have 7 times 8 to the power of 1 so we take 8 times 7 so the value is 56 so 7 times 8 is 56 and then for the last one since it, since it is 0 times 8 to the power of 0 and then it is negative 1 so we have 0 so this is base 10 So in step 3, we will now sum up those numbers, the 4096, the 1024, the 320, the 56, and the 0. So 40, uh, 4096 plus 1024 is equals to 5000. So the total number is uh, 5496. Uh, based in so in this case the equivalent value of 1000 uh, no uh, 12570 on base 8 or octal number system is 5496 on base 10 or in decimal number system okay so after the octal number system or the base 8 we have now the hexadecimal number system so the characteristics of the hexadecimal number system is that uh, it has 10 digits and 6 letters so th those letters represents numbers 
So first we have the zero up to nine, and then for the succeeding uh, numbers up to fifteen, ten up to fifteen. Instead of using 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, the hexadecimal number system uses the six letters representation, which is A that represents 10, the B that represents 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14, and F represents 15. So this is uh, this hexadecimal number system is called the base 16 number system. Still, its position in a hexadecimal number represents a zero power of the base 16. So, and then the last position in a hexadecimal number system represents an x power of the base 16. So, for example, just like the other number system, if it is the last position where 16 to the power of x and where x represents the last position, it will be negative 1. Okay. So, say for example in hexadecimal, we have this number nineteen, if the e. So this is base uh, sixteen. So nineteen f t e, and then. What would be the equivalent value of the 19 FDE or 19 FDE if it is being converted into the decimal number system or the number system that we humans uh, use in our day-to-day -day life? So hexadecimal converted to decimal or base uh, 10. So this is base 16. Okay. So just like the other uh, conversion, step 1. We have to arrange uh, these numbers into its position with its power. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So since it is B16, so we have to multiply its number into 16. So 1 times 16 to the power of 4 plus uh, 9 times 16 to the power of 3 plus uh, f times 16 to the power of 2 and then we have plus d times 16 to the power of 1 and then the last one is e times 16 to the power of 0 so this is base 10 from base 16 to base 10 uh, step 2 so just like the previous uh, computation we need to multiply the number into its power so say for example and the first one is 16 to the power of 4 so that is 65 53 6 65 53 6 ah uh, no 65 65536 and then plus uh, 36 8 6 4 36 8 6 4 or 36864 and then plus 3840 and then plus 208 and then the last one is 14 So if you are going to question, how did we come up with 3840, 208, and 14? So the answer is this one. F represents 15. This one represents 15. D represents 13. And E represents 
14. So 13, 14, 15. So that is why 16 to the power of 2 is 16 times 16 times the value of f is 15. So we have 3840. And the next one, we have 16 to the power of 1. So we retain 16, but it is uh, it should be multiplied to d, which is the equivalent value is 13. So that is why we had two. We have 208. And then the last one is 16 to the power of 0. And then since it is the last position, so we just take down uh, 14 or the value of e. And then for step three. And just like the other competition, we have to sum up these numbers, the uh, 665,536, the 36,864, the 3,840, the 214. So all in all, we have 1064, 62 base 10. So 106,462 is the equivalent value of 19 FDE in decimal number system. So 10, 64, 62, base 10.